I'm out uh, relic hunting today with the GTI 2500 and I'm going to run this in relics mode and I may go back to all metal. Uh, if I get into a lot of iron I may switch back to relics but I'll try to go with all metal as much as I can. And what I've done here, I've got the uh, optional upper section here with the cam locks on it, added that for a lot of stability. And then I've got the big 8.5-11 double D coil on there. That's a real good uh, coil out here in the woods to separate targets, especially if we get into some of the iron. So anyway, let's uh, run through here. We've got the sensitivity set pretty high on this. And uh, I'll start actually in all metal and then switch over to discram if, if I need to. But let's see how this big double D coil does. Just hit a little more threshold on there. There's a good audible threshold that I can just barely hear. So I'm going to start running in the all metal. See if we can get some good targets here. Something around seven and a half, six right there. Showing about four inches, maybe. Right about there. Let's see what we got. I'm on the side of the hill, so hopefully I won't. Take another one of my little tumbles down the hill that I've done today. Let's see if that's still on the ground or. Still on the ground, but let's see if I'm close to it. To it. There it is. Got a look like a round ball, round uh, musket ball. So that came in you know, nice and clear, able to get good separation with that double D. Clean, easy dig, right where it showed it would be. The thing I like about this big double D is you can cover a lot of ground with this. It's definitely going to pick up those deep targets. Look at that, there's something underneath that log. That's why it always pays to move these old logs. You never know. And this coil being as big as it is, you can go right over that target. You hear a sound underneath. Or, guess what? Something's in the log. Let's see if my pinpointer can find it. That's always kind of cool when you get a bullet that's inside the wood. I'm going to actually see if I can chop into it. There we go. Something's right in there. That's pretty cool. Use a big coil and pick up a target inside of a log. All right. Right there. Question is, is it modern or is it old? We shall soon see. Uh-oh, moved it. It's in here. All right, folks, we're getting close. Look at there. There is a musket ball right there out of that log. 
found with the double D on the 2500 and the Pro Pointer. Pretty cool. Got a couple logs like that where I found three ring mini balls, and lead balls stuck inside them. There's something right there reading about seven and a half. One thing I can do is kind of wiggle it and just pull back. Now I've lost the target. As I scoot forward, it should be right off the tip into that coil. Let's see if that holds true. Ah. Dig a little circular plug right through all these roots, right where the tip into my double D coil was. And again, push that back. And let's see if we got her up out of the ground. Yep, it's in that plug that I rolled back. So that's the beauty of the double D. You just get the wiggle going, pull back until you lose the signal, and then move forward. You get right off the tip. It should be right in this plug of dirt. Yep, right in there. If I can get my hands on it. I think I got it there. Yep. Let's see what we got. We have another big old musket ball. It's been fired and flattened out, mashed up. That's one of the larger size ones. Oop. So definitely had some action right in this area. Quite a few round balls close together. That one's hitting the eight. Kind of hard to wiggle it. You can use the pin pointer for us. Get your strongest signal. And pull back off it. So it should be right in that area. About there. Three to four inches. And I'm just going to dig a little bit of a circular plug out here in the woods just to bust through whatever roots are there. There's a root right there. Another root. I just have to roll over what I can roll over. Good job cutting through all the roots. Let's see if we're close to it though. Yep. Right down there. There it is. Another round ball is hit. And uh, instead of being perfectly round, it's flat on one side. You can see that round there, flat there. So that's pretty cool with this double D. I'm just separating real clean and getting right into that area. And just pulling these old Civil War era bullets one after another.